Hi friends, I am Mani. I am the blogger behind GetMoneyRich.com. Today we are going to discuss the topic of value investing. We will see what is value investing, what is the process of value investing, and how we as a common man can implement value investing to pick our stocks. So to understand what is value investing, let's try to simplify the whole thing for you. Value investing is basically an investment strategy which tells us to pick quality stocks at undervalued price levels. What is undervalued price level? Undervalued price level means when the current price of a stock is below its intrinsic value, it is called undervalued. So value investing basically, it defines a process that how an investor can first of all identify these stocks and then at what price they should buy these stocks. This is value investing. So let's try to understand what is the process of value investing. The process of value investing starts with those stocks which has at least a 10 year financial data available for public scrutiny. Suppose there is a, a startup and which has also got itself listed in a stock exchange. It is a new startup and, and hence its financial data will uh, not be uh, available for uh, uh, investors scrutiny. So generally speaking value investors avoid such kind of stocks. Why they avoid? Because they need a long financial history of the company to make uh, calculations and derive conclusion out of those financial data. So, the first condition in the process of value investing is the stock must have at least 10 years data. Why I am saying 10 years data? It can be 5, it can be 15, it can be 20. I have derived an Excel sheet which works on at least 10 years financial data for a stock. So I will tell you more about my tool, but first let's understand what is the process of value investing. So a stock which already has a 10 year financial data is the first tick. So shortlist those stocks. The second step is once a, a stock has a 10 year data, the next step is to check whether the business fundamentals of those stocks are strong enough or not. If you can use uh, uh, my uh, Excel tool, it, it does that uh, business fundamental check on its own. You have to just feed the data in the Excel and the balance uh, uh, fundamental checking is done by the Excel automatically. So uh, to explain the process of value investing, once a stock which has a 10 year history and it is also fundamentally strong becomes a strong contender to become a value stock. Value investors really like these stocks. Value investors keep these stocks in their watch list. Why they keep it in the watch list? Because generally speaking, these value stocks which are fundamentally strong generally trade at a very expensive price levels. They, it is hard to find these stocks at undervalued price. So what value investors does is to keep these stocks in their watch list and upon analysis if they find that these fundamentally strong stocks are currently trading at an undervalued price they go and pick it up. So how value investor identifies that whether a 
a stock is trading at an undervalued price or not. This is the third step of the process. A value investor are very aware of the intrinsic value of a stock. What is intrinsic value? Intrinsic value is uh, a true value. This is that price which an investor should pay to buy the stock. They should not pay more than this price. So there is a method to calculate intrinsic value. My uh, stock analysis tool does this as well. If you just feed few data of stock in the Excel sheet, it will not only do, do the fundamental checking, but it, it will also project an intrinsic value of a stock. So uh, this is the process of value investing. First, the stock has to have at least a 10 year data, then it must be a fundamental, it must have a fundamentally strong business. And thirdly, uh, it must be trading at an undervalued price levels. Once a undervalued value stock is identified, it automatically becomes a good buy for investors. So this is the process of value investing. In this introduction about value investing, there are two very important things that must be kept in mind. Value investor gives a great deal of importance to fundamentally strong stocks and more than this, they give importance to the estimated intrinsic value of stocks. Practicing value investing is not that easy. If you see the process of value investing, the process looks pretty simple. But when you uh, actually start practicing value investing, this process is not so easy. Not only it is time taking, but it is also not so easy to learn. It takes time. So this is what makes value investing a strategy which not everybody in this world practices. What is one thing that makes value investing a little bit harder to practice? That one thing is estimating intrinsic value of a stock. Intrinsic value estimation doesn't have a, a fixed formula which we can use and we get the answer. There is no calculator where you can feed a few numbers, we can, where you can type in few numbers and you get the answer. It is not like that. Estimation of intrinsic value calls for a a lot of insight about the company itself. A person who is trying to estimate the intrinsic value of a company should know about that company. We will uh, the, uh, talk about more about what I mean by know about the company. But at present, let, let me uh, give you an example of how a value investor, expert investor uh, calculates or estimates the intrinsic value of a stock. Let me give you an example. Suppose uh, you are buying a bank deposit, a fixed deposit from a bank and that bank deposit you have bought it for next five years. In the first year, the, the interest uh, the bank deposit will give you is say let's 100 rupees in the second year the same 100 rupees third year 100 rupees till fifth year the bank deposit is going to give you an interest of 100 rupees each year so this is this 100 rupee is the cash inflow that is happening for you because you have bought a fixed deposit so on basis of these cash flows in future, these 100 rupees cash ins that you are getting for next five years, you can calculate 
the intrinsic value based on these cash flows. A cash flow happening after one year, a cash flow happening after second year, all these cash flows are discounted at a certain rate and a present value can be estimated. This present value which is calculated based on future cash flows is called the intrinsic value. Now let me give you an example. Suppose you, you have bought a stock which pays dividends let's say 3 rupees per share in the next year which is going to pay 3 rupees per share in the next year and the same dividend is going to grow and become 3.1 rupees in the second year 3.2 rupees in the third year 4 rupees in the fourth year and 4.1 rupees in the fifth year so based on this dividend that this uh, stock is going to give you in next years you can estimate its present value based on this income that is it is going to generate so this is basically the nutshell that how intrinsic value is calculated intrinsic value is calculated based upon the future cash flows that a stock or an asset is going to generate if you want to know more about uh, a more detailed understanding of how to implement this uh, cash flow uh, theory to calculate intrinsic value i, I have given a link of uh, my article which is about discounted cash flow analysis to calculate intrinsic value you can check that link so this is about uh, intrinsic value what i was trying to uh, comprehend here that from this uh, video itself you must have got a feel that uh, estimating intrinsic value is not as easy there is no fixed formula and to make things uh, slightly more complicated generally stocks does not give fixed returns in future sometimes it price goes up sometimes it goes down sometimes it profit goes up sometimes it profit goes down so for us as an investor it is not easy to uh, estimate future cash flows for a stock for a company so this is this is what makes value investing slightly complicated but how expert investors practice value investing this is the thing that we should try to understand the way the expert investors practice value investing is by building their circle of competence we will uh, we will now see what is circle of competence and how building our circle of competence helps us in estimating intrinsic value of stock so let's talk more about the circle of competence suppose you are an investor and you are an investor who is very knowledgeable about the IT sector so you know in and out of how an IT service company works in India what is its business model who are its uh, potential customers what are its products how a company earns money from its customers what is the market scenario so these all informations helps an investor to estimate future cash flows for a company. I personally have worked in a steel sector for a long time. So uh, for me, estimating intrinsic value of a steel company is slightly easier than estimating uh, intrinsic value of say a IT company. So 
a circle of competence is that that area which in which you are maybe not an expert but at least you have more information than others about that sector and when you are uh, more knowledgeable about a sector you are more likely to predict right future cash flows for a company and if you are uh, predicting right future cash flows invariably you will be able to calculate a right intrinsic value for that stock so the critical part in value investing is predicting future cash flows and to predict future cash flows uh, more accurately you must build your circle of competence and uh, really you can build your circle of competence right from scratch you need not uh, uh, think that uh, you are expert of no sector so you cannot practice value investing it is not like that uh, you can build uh, your circle of competence from scratch what you have to do just download an annual report of any company and start reading it from uh, front to back cover keep taking the notes try to understand how the company is doing business what company is selling which products it is selling which services it is selling which is um, making more profits for them try to understand more about that product itself are how, how are the competitors who are the competitors uh, for that product uh, in the outside world are the product of uh, the company in consideration is a unique product which has no a competition or no uh, close alternative so these are the things that you can learn by reading the annual reports of companies and once you read the annual report uh, you can answer try to answer a few questions about the company uh, I have re left a link of my blog post in the description below you can check that blog post there I have given these questions that after reading the annual report which questions you can try to answer about the company and if you can answer these questions uh, nearly accurately you can say that you are beginning to understand that company uh, precisely better than any uh, uh, other common man so in the process of practicing value investing building circle of competence is essential if you are not uh, concentrating on building your circle of competence invariably you will uh, miscalculate or misestimate the future cash flows uh, which in turn will uh, give you a wrong uh, intrinsic value and if you are having a wrong intrinsic value you will not be sure that whether you are buying a stock which is undervalued or not so in value investing please focus on your knowledge how much you know about the company there is another uh, interesting uh, tool which almost all value investors use when they practice uh, value investing it is called margin of safety Wh what is this margin of safety margin of safety is basically uh, like engineering uh, we used to learn factor of safety margin of uh, margin of uh, safety is something very similar to that suppose uh, a stock uh, you are analyzing and you have estimated its intrinsic value as 80 rupees suppose but you are not so sure that whether your estimate is correct or not you are thinking that maybe you have overestimated the future cash flows and hence you are getting uh, intrinsic value as rupees 80 so what you will do here you will discount this intrinsic value to a lower number let's say rupees 60 so here you are uh, using a margin of safety of 20 rupees you are lowering the intrinsic value estimate from 80 to 60 so what the, does this mean 
that if you buy the stock at uh, rupees 60 and uh, assuming that even if you, you have done some mistake in calculation of intrinsic value or you have overestimated the cash flows and you have uh, wrongly calculated the intrinsic value but because you have not bought the stock at rupees 80 instead you have bought at 60 you still have that cushion if anything goes wrong you still have that cushion of rupees 20. so in value investing there are two very three very critical things that a common man must develop first they should build their circle of competence second they must learn how to estimate intrinsic value and third they must know that what margin of safety they must add to their calculated intrinsic value to uh, buy a stock which is almost foolproof it is not going to make you a loss so practicing these three things will uh, help you practicing value investing more profitably thank you for watching this video i hope uh, you uh, like this small introduction on value investing uh, please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i post a new video you will get a notification and you will not miss my videos thank you for watching see you soon bye